Please subscribe Sporta TV for more information. MotoGP and Formula 1 2023. Alex Rins will not be fit in time to race at Silverstone. The LCR Honda rider is recovering from two surgeries to a broken leg and had targeted the British MotoGP on August 6 as his comeback date. But that must be pushed back because he won't be ready. Stefan Brattle will replace him. Alex Rins will not compete at Silverstone, LCR Honda boss Lucio Seconello told Speedweek. His recovery is progressing very well. But I don't know when he will be able to race again and when he will come back. Then Alex will be allowed to put weight on his broken leg again for the first time, Seconello said. For the first time since the accident, he will then be allowed to take his first steps again. If he feels good, he will return to Spielberg on August 20th or Barcelona on September 3rd. We don't know for sure yet. Oh, yeah, after the race. Lec wanted to replace injured Rins at British MotoGP round. Factory Honda World Superbike rider Iker Lekwona will deputize for the injured Alex Rins at LCR at the British Grand Prix next month. Rins has been out of action since badly breaking his right leg in a crash during the sprint race at the Italian Grand Prix. The five-time MotoGP race winner has since undergone two operations on his broken tibia and fibula and will not return to racing until the Austrian GP in mid-August at the earliest. Lekwona, who previously rode for the Tech 3 KTM squad in 2020 and 2021 before moving to WSBK with Honda, has been called up on two occasions by the Japanese manufacturer this year to fill in for its injured riders. The young Spaniard replaced Marc Marquez at the Spanish GP, finishing 16th in the Grand Prix, and returned to the factory Honda squad to fill in for the injured Joan Mir at the Dutch GP, where he crashed out. He will make a third Honda MotoGP appearance in 2023 at Silverstone on 4-6 August with LCR, with Mir and Marquez expected to return to the factory squad after a first half of the season plagued by injury. The British GP coincides with the Suzuka 8 Hours Endurance Race, which Lekwona was due to contest alongside WSBK teammate Xavi Vierge and Takumi Takahashi as part of the factory team. Motorsport.com understands that Lekwona's third MotoGP appearance of the season is part of Honda's plans to continue evaluating the 23-year-old for a potential future ride. With rumors linking Rins to a potential Yamaha switch in 2024, Lekwona could be in prime contention to take his LCR ride having reportedly made a good impression on HRC's engineering staff during the Assen weekend. Lekwona's current contract with Honda in WSBK comes to an end at the conclusion of the 2023 season, but has already been informed that he will be renewed for a further two years, though where he rides in 2024 has not been made clear yet. On the other hand, Jorge Lorenzo has called four really scary MotoGP bikes to be limited, to safeguard the health of the riders. The 2023 MotoGP season has been littered with crashes and injuries, with the new format of sprint races introducing an extra layer of chaos. But three-time Premier Class champion Lorenzo also sees problems with the aerodynamics. I like the sprint, but I speak as a spectator, he told GP1. I understand the riders, the risk doubles or triples. The bikes are strong with the aerodynamics. I am worried about the health of the riders. But as a spectator, I like it. We're getting to a point where MotoGP bikes are really scary. They have 300 horsepower and go over 370 kilometers per hour. If we don't, pause, in a few years they will hit 400 kilometers per hour. I think we have to limit the power of these bikes in some way. I would limit the aerodynamics as much as possible, maybe I would eliminate it. Lorenzo retired from MotoGP in 2019 after an injury-ravaged year at Honda before briefly rejoining Yamaha, the team where he won all three of his championships, as a test rider. That role was limited by the pandemic, then descended into a row with his replacement Cal Crutchlow. Honda and Yamaha didn't have a really sensitive rider to develop a bike that was rideable for everyone, Lorenzo said. At Honda, they listened to me at the time. I had been to Japan to do some work and modifications on the bike. But I had the misfortune to crash and hurt myself at Assen. 
Without that crash, I would have continued at Honda and with a better bike suited to my characteristics. The turning point was the crash at Assen that changed my mentality. I began to appreciate other things in life. That fall took three or four years off my career. Lorenzo spent two seasons at Ducati, one of many big-name riders who failed to win the championship hoodoo that stretched back to 2007 until Francesco Bagnaia finally won last year. It's not something you do overnight, Lorenzo said about Ducati's current dominance. You need to stay calm, to understand what to keep on the bike and what to change. Gigi Dalligna has done a great job since 2014. Slowly he made Ducati the best bike, but it was a long job. It's the era of the European brands in MotoGP, not the Japanese. I don't know how long this will last. On the other hand, Red Bull and KTM are reportedly in contact with LCR to create two MotoGP seats for Marc Marquez and Pedro Acosta. The Pira Group, which owns KTM, is in touch with Lucio Seconello, the LCR owner, and wants to bring him into the KTM camp, Speedweek report. Seconello replied with a telling silence when asked if he would fulfill his contract with Honda until the end of 2024, the report states. KTM initially hoped that they could have two extra bikes on the grid, perhaps for Marquez and Acosta, but that plan was shot down by MotoGP sporting director Carlos Espoleta. Red Bull and KTM proposed to Dorna, the championship's promoter, to let Akiao, the Moto2 and Moto3 team boss, have two MotoGP bikes for the next three seasons which would pair Marquez with Acosta, according to the same report. Moody VR46, Pramac and Grazzini Racing are continuing with Ducati next year, RNF with Aprilia. LCR are contracted to Honda for next season. LCR are in their 18th MotoGP season with Honda, but the Japanese manufacturer is in crisis. Alex Rins, the LCR rider, was one of three riders sidelined through injury from the most recent round and he is also heavily linked with quitting Honda to join Yamaha, having complained earlier in the season that he wasn't being utilized to develop the bike. Their problems are summed up by Marquez's plight, the Repsol Honda rider hasn't even completed a Grand Prix in 2023 yet. Marquez is contracted to Honda on a big money deal for 2024, but speculation will not disappear that he could somehow engineer a move for next year. The KTM links are in part due to Red Bull, their mutual sponsor. Meanwhile, Acosta has demanded a promotion from Moto2 to MotoGP with KTM who must find him a seat somehow. Their factory pair Jack Miller and Brad Binder are locked in, and so is Tech 3 Gasca's veteran Paul Espargaro, leaving his teammate Augusto Fernandez vulnerable although his performances have impressed this season. Taking over a second satellite team would enable KTM, the manufacturer who have most closely fought the dominant Ducati this year, to deliver a dream team of Marquez and Acosta which would spice up next year's grid.